start off on this issue when we bring in a ripping panel here tonight on the desk with me, Caroline De Rosso, the host of the Royal Report, special edition, pre-coronation yes. decision yes. Uh, edition tomorrow night at eight o'clock. You know I won't be watching, but everybody but else. That's should. okay. That's okay. I know you're with me in spirit, Chris. <laughs> yeah. And over on the other side of the country, six PRs, Oliver Peterson. Uh, you're lucky, mate. You're not part of the national grid in Western Australia. <laughs> you have to look after yourself. So I'll start with Caroline here on this thing. This snowy two point. Now this is like a, a lesson in how not to do major projects and politics, right? Yeah, absolutely. And look, now we, we are seeing the consequences of it. And this is this is not the first one we've seen. We've seen it with the suburban rail loop in Victoria. We've seen it with all sorts of different and particularly infrastructure policy where someone, a number of peers... We're never really told how this number appears. And then as time goes along, this number balloons and balloons and balloons. No doubt Ollie um, will want to jump in on our Metronet, our beloved uh, project in Western Australia, which is just delayed beyond belief and bigger than Ben-Hur and no-one's really sure now why we're actually doing it. And that's that's a... That seems to be happening all the time and no-one ever seems to be really accountable for no it. No-one's accountable. This is extraordinary, Oliver. When you talk about something that's five years in now, was uh, was initially going to cost $2 mm. billion, we're now talking about $20 billion when you do the project and have the transmission. Uh, would we be better off just saying this was a dumb idea, Malcolm Turnbull never approached it in the proper manner, getting proper studies done and the like, cut our losses, get out of there and find our power elsewhere? Well, you've got to always justify to taxpayers, whether it's mm. the state government or the federal government, how you're spending every single one of our dollars. So, absolutely, Chris, there has to be transparency around these sorts of issues. There has to be timely advice provided to all Australians on updated costs. And if this thing doesn't add up, if it doesn't stack up, as you say, you rip it apart, you start again. But I hate that we have to have this debate about it's an all-or-nothing 2030 target in terms of renewables. We're not going to reach it. I mean, that, that is the best thing that I've heard today. Today. It is BS. We're not going to reach that target. So we need to have a bigger picture look at this and not just say it's one thing or the other. We can cooperate with both for a while. We've got to find a baseload solution. And the other issue no one's talking about in regards to this, Chris, is the fact that migration is going to balloon to yeah. half a million Correct. people. Need more power. It was 350,000, which was huge. Now it's going to be half a million. We're going to need a lot more power. Uh, it, it does my head in because not, we won't make 2030. We can't make 2030. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It doesn't matter that we don't make this target by 2030. Yet all our politicians, because they're so weak-kneed and spineless, are all signing up to it. It's only our dollars being wasted on it.